Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video we are going to be talking about the new Urban Decay palette, the Naked Reloaded. In this palette we have five matte eyeshadows, one satin, two creamy shimmery and four shimmery eyeshadows. In total we have 12 eyeshadows and the price for this palette is 46 euros. In this video I will show you the swatches of the eyeshadows and also how I did this eye look that I have today and I will give you my thoughts about the palette if it is worth the money or not let's start with the swatches as we can see in this palette the pan shape for some of the eyeshadows is different we have four bigger eyeshadows at the edges of the palette the reason that we have four eyeshadows with a bigger pan shape is because they have predicted which eyeshadows we are going to use the most and I think they are correct because this four eyeshadows they are shades that I can use every day I think they did a very good job with the selection of the shades in total we have 14.2 grams of product and as we can see in this palette we have no place for a brush we're not getting a brush with this palette as we usually do with the naked palettes I don't mind that I already have other brushes by Urban Decay that I like I find them very practical I like double-ended brushes let's start with the swatches the first eyeshadow is eyeshadow bribe this is a creamy beige eyeshadow and it's not very visible when you swatch it but it has a satin finish when you apply it on your eyes i have it on my brow bone today it gives a very light sheen and it is very natural if you don't like very bold reflective eyeshadows this eyeshadow will also look very nice on your eyelid after that we have eyeshadow barely baked and this is a light golden eyeshadow with a shimmery finish this one is so pretty very reflective it looks super nice on the eyelid you can also use it for your lower lash line the inner corner it looks very pretty on the eyes next to that we have angel fire and this is a creamy shimmery eyeshadow that it is better to use with your fingertip or a sponge tip applicator if you want to make it completely foil you can use it with a setting spray it is what I have now on my eyelid this one has like a duochrome sheen it is like a light pink peachy eyeshadow eyeshadow retro is a dusty corally shade with a matte finish and it is super soft and pigmented such a nice color I have used it today in my crease and also to blend the edges of my lower lash line we continue with reputation this one is a shimmery eyeshadow with a pink bronzy color it is very nice on the eyelid you can blend the reputation and a little bit of barely baked and make a very beautiful everyday look we have one more shimmery eyeshadow this one is burn a darker bronzy red the eyeshadow with a very beautiful sheen as well this eyeshadow looks very nice on your eyelid also you can use it on top of a darker base like an eye pencil or gel eyeliner and you can make a very nice smoky eye look with this one after that we have eyeshadow end game this is a darker eyeshadow of the palette it is a dark matte brown eyeshadow with this one you don't need a lot of this eyeshadow it is super blend and intense on the eyes you just need a very small amount of the product it is so easy to blend it you don't need a lot of time to blend these eyeshadows it doesn't look so intense it works very nice with all the other colors this is what I have in my outer corner next we have one more creamy shimmery eyeshadow this is called dream weaver and it has a very similar consistency with eyeshadow angel fire that we have here and as you can see we have a lot of fallout when we swatch it so be very careful with these two creamy eyeshadows take your time and press it very lightly on your eyes and you will have this beautiful chocolatey shimmery eyeshadow 
it looks amazing it has a very nice sheen but you need to apply it with your fingertip or a sponge tip applicator a dry brush is not picking the product on the bristles this one also has very fine micro glitter and the sheen is insane it is super super pretty this one looks very nice on a darker base as well let's continue with eyeshadow distilled this is a shimmery eyeshadow with a lighter chocolatey brown color and this one looks very nice on the eyelid if you use a small amount of this eyeshadow and blend it very well on your eyelid it is very wearable and it gives this beautiful chocolatey color to the eyes eyeshadow backed is a warm brown matte eyeshadow super pigmented very blendable as well it is a very soft eyeshadow you can use it to blend it in your cream your lower lash line also you can intensify your lashes with this eyeshadow you can use this on the eyelid crease a little bit of bribe to highlight the inner corner brow bone and you're done with three eyeshadows you can do an amazing eye look let's continue with boundaries and this one is a matte eyeshadow it is a warm caramelly color and also this one has some very very fine gold micro glitter that you don't see when you blend the eyeshadow on your eyes the micro glitter are in the formula so the eyeshadow can be very blendable afterwards we have eyeshadow blair that it is one of the bigger pans that we have this one is a light warm beige eyeshadow and i like it because it is visible on me with a very small amount of the product i can blend it in my crease and you can see the color i like that because you can also use it for darker skin tones for my eye look today i applied eyeshadow bribe on my brow bone in my crease, I have used eyeshadow blur. After that, I took eyeshadow boundaries for my crease closer to the eyelid. For my eyelid, I have applied eyeshadow angel fire. To intensify the outer corner, I applied eyeshadow end game. I also took eyeshadow backed for my lower lash line. After that, I blended the edges with eyeshadow retro. To define my lashes, I have also applied eyeshadow end game. With the matte eyeshadows, we have some kickback in the pan, so you need to tap the excess off before you apply these eyeshadows on your eyes. The matte eyeshadows are battery soft, super blendable. These eyeshadows are so easy to use. I also like that we have a lot of different matte eyeshadows to give depth to the eyes and also to contour the eye shape. I think this palette is great for someone with hooded eyes. I also like that the shimmery eyeshadows are very reflective so if you have a smaller eyelid space you can use them and make your eyelid a little bit bigger I like that I think the shimmery eyeshadows are very pretty for someone with hooded eyes in my opinion this palette is very easy to use for beginners for daily use you can create a lot of bright dollar looks with this palette for example what I have now you can intensify it a little bit more apply lashes and you're done about the packaging of the palette as we can see it looks like a cushion it is very soft and squishy it looks very elegant and we have a mirror that makes it very travel friendly also the palette is lightweight and a little bit flexible that makes it very easy to hold it when you're doing your makeup because it is a very lightweight palette we also have the names for the eyeshadows i like that with more expensive eyeshadow palettes Palette. if you're worried that the fabric will get dirtier you can just keep it in the box that it comes with because it is exactly the same shape it will not take more space in your drawer and this is what I will do because I want my palettes to look perfect and new this palette is cruelty free and when it was first released I thought that this one would replace the naked original palette this one here that looks so gross 
I love this palette guys. These palettes are not the same. In the Naked palette we have cool tone eyeshadows. The Naked Reloaded has warm tone eyeshadows. Some of the eyeshadows remind each other but we don't have the same eyeshadows. Share this video with a friend that is looking for a new eyeshadow palette. Give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments if you are interested in this palette, if you want to try it or not. You can watch here how to apply red lipstick. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye!